Northshire is the starting area for the humans in the north of Alwyn Forest and east of Stormwind. It was the home of the Holy Order of the Northshire Clerics, and Medivh was cared for by the brothers while in his coma. During the First War, the Abbey was used as a temporary prison for the invading orcs and ogres, including Garona half Oaken, until she was rescued by the Horde when they invaded Delwyn Forest. The brothers fled with their sacred tomes to Lordaeron with the other refugees. During the Second War, Northshire was a base for Cho'Gal's Twilight Hammer cult. Meanwhile, in Lordaeron, the brothers worked with Archbishop Alonsus Fowl to create the first human paladins and found the Order, the Knights of the Silver Hand. The valley was eventually liberated by the Alliance Army, led by High General Turalyon, and the Abbey was rebuilt. While the area was untouched by the Third War, its people were not so lucky. Many of the inhabitants were refugees from Lordaeron or had family living there, so we will come across many relations to the Forsaken. The Echo Ridge mine to the north is now overrun by kobolds, with the occasional appearance of Gug Fat Candle. The wolves of Duskwood have become diseased and migrated into Elwyn Forest and made their way into Northshire Valley. The Northshire Vineyard has been taken over by the Defias Brotherhood, led by Garrick Padfoot. The Defias Brotherhood was created when the Stonemasons were refused their pay for rebuilding Stormwind. They rioted, which resulted in the death of Queen Tiffin, and slid off into the shadows, now operating as bandits and drawing in like-minded individuals. Our first introduction is to Deputy Willem, who tells us to report to Marsha McBride inside the Abbey. We're tasked with clearing the kobolds from the surrounding area and within the mine itself, and Egan Peltskinner needs pelts from the diseased wolves. Marsha McBride then gives us a letter to introduce us to our class trainers. They are Brother Samuel, the Paladin Trainer, Priestess Aneta, the Priest Trainer, Yorick Keridan, Rogue Trainer, Keldon Bremen, the Mage Trainer, Lane Bashir, the Warrior Trainer, and Drusilla LaSalle, the Warlock Trainer. Deputy Willems wants the Defiers killed and to return with red bandanas as proof of death and Marshal McBride has a kill order on the leader, Garrett Padfoot. Warlocks have an additional class quest for their imp. A novice at the Abbey has run off to join the Defias and taken one of Drusilla's tomes with them, and we need to retrieve it for the summoning spell. Millie Osworth requests that we retrieve crates of grapes from the vineyard while we're thinning out the Brotherhood. We then have a manifest to take to Brother Niels. We will also meet Brother Daniel, Dermot Johns, Godric Rothgar, Janos Hammernuckle, Brother Paxton, and Dane Winslow. Egan Peltskinner is possibly married to Helene Peltskinner, a Skinner trainer in Goldshire. Millie Osworth is a possible relation of Julie Osworth, a vendor at the Argent Tournament Grounds in Ice Crown. Dane Winslow may be related to Edward and Elizabeth Winslow, who were a part of the Pilgrim's Bounty event and Gothard Winslow, a Forsaken in Undercity. Brother Paxton, the librarian, may be related to Thomas Paxton, a human soldier in Northwatch Hold in the Southern Barrens, and Rosalind Paxton, a Forsaken in Hirawatha Research Station in the Hinterlands. Marshal McBride refers us to Marshal Duggan in Goldshire, and on our way out of Northshire, we're met by Falcon Eisenstrider, who recommends we speak to Malika Eisenstrider in the Lion Pride's Inn. During the Cataclysm event, the Echo Ridge mine suffered a collapse from an earthquake and the kobolds are now gone, only to be replaced by goblin assassins. The vineyard is now burning and the Defias Brotherhood has been displaced by the invading Blackrock Orgs and their wargs, led by Kurok the Slayer. Stormwind has increased its military presence in Northshire due to the Black Rocks, and Willem has now been promoted to sergeant. We now have Ashley Blank, the hunter trainer, added, and Bao, the Pandaran monk trainer, added in Mist of Pandaria. Marshal McBride orders us to kill the Black Rock spies and their Roman wargs. Our class trainer then forwards us to Sergeant Willem, who wants the goblin assassins gone, while we heal injured soldiers for Brother Paxton. Next, Marsha McBride wants weapons from the Blackrock Orcs and Kirok the Slayer killed. 
while we're in the vineyards, we put out the fires for Millie. We will meet many characters again. At Southport, in the spires of Iraq, we will meet Millie, who is now a soldier of the Stormwind Army, and Willem has been promoted once again to lieutenant. Brother Samuel joins the Silver Hand during Legion, and could be found in the Paladin Order Hall, and Deliverance points on the Broken Shore. The final two quests are the same, and again send us off to Goldshire, and to continue our journey on through Elwyn Forest. This one shows promise. The whispers lure her toward her fate.